it's Darth Nick here. Thanks very much for watching another one of my videos. Uh, this one's going to concentrate on a couple of my settlements that I've been working on recently. So without further ado, I'll start us off. We're at the Red Rocket Settlement, that we all know and love from the beginning of the game. Next door to Sanctuary. Yes, that's right, I do have 35 people there. Without hacks or mods, I'm playing on PS4, by the way. No mods for me yet. Um, so, without further ado, let's have a quick look at Red Rocket. Now, start off. Um, let's 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 take a let's take a jump actually, and we'll go start off at the bottom. Gotta love it. So this is the Red Rocket Settlement, it's one of the first ones that you get quite early on. Um, there's about 19 people living here at the moment. Uh, it's got some basic defenses, the turrets, um, some mortars, and um, plenty of these things, these Tesla, Tesla charges, which I really enjoy. Um, as you can see, pretty well defended. We're rocking a little bit of um, a few wind farms here as well to keep the energy levels up. So let's go have a little bit of an explore in here. Um, first little area is just a small sleeping area for some of the merchants and some of the people who live here. Nothing really to shout about. It does provide the opportunity to shoot out the windows though if you need to, which is always good. Now uh, we've got another entrance here which is guarded by the Tesla mines and also this lookout here. And uh, there's quite a bit to this community, it's on several, le several levels. I've not really done a huge amount with the ground level to be honest, it's probably the one I've worked on the least. We've got some farming going on around the back. Hey, how's it going? Seems to be growing well. Yeah, so um, down here as well we've also got a few merchants. Um, we've got a level 3 weapons merchant. Farm's not much. Uh, general store. And a level 3 clinic. Not right now, thank you very much. Uh, we do have power here. The power system runs um, some of the turrets and also the uh, Tesla mines. Inside the garage, got a bit of classical music going on, just the general sort of thing. Weapons workbench, power armor workbench. Um, this was originally my room, I had the steamer trunk in here when I was collecting gear and building this place up. Get out of the way. Thank you. Okay, so that's pretty much the ground level. Um, very simple. Bit of defense. It doesn't go all the way around, though. Uh, we only seem to get attacked from one side, so it didn't really seem to matter too much. Okay, so we're going to go on up to the other levels now. Up, up to the big red rocket. Up here. As you can see, I've been building it extensively. goes quite a way up. As we go up to this next level, uh, we've got basic turrets again, we've got some guards on lookout. I'd like to trade some items. Sure thing. Uh, moving on up. We're on the roof now with the red rocket. We have our um, ghoulish mortar uh, mortar technician there, ready to fire down some uh, nuclear fire if we get in trouble. Let's just test that out just for fun. I always enjoy this. There we go. So 
so we'll leave that smoke on. Let's listen in to Radio Freedom. And they'll, they'll tell us when they get the shot ready. Whilst that's happening, here's the radio beacon. Oh, did you hear that? It's about to get really hot. It should be fun. So anyway, whilst that's going off in the background, I'll show you the rest of the house. Um, it's got several entrance points here, three to be exact, um, leading up to the main master bedroom. Um, this area is uh, just basically sleeping bags. Um, I am going to put a merchant in this corner. In fact, I can do that now, before I forget. So we're going to pop in a trader of some description. don't think we've got a clothing one here, so I'll pop a clothing one in. Fill fit. Yep, there we go. Clothing store. Boom. Sounds like there's mortars going on. Let's grab this guy here. going off in the distance good stuff now this oh there's another mortar just got fired from right next to us beautiful yeah we've got another mortar guy down there firing him off for us as well okay so we're gonna go we're gonna go up up to the penthouse apartment. Um, I'm thinking about building this actually and scaling it out into an actual tower. And each of these levels will have its own level um, dedicated to different things. Some will be merchants, some will be crafting benches. Um, we'll work on that. Okay, so we're starting to get up pretty high now. Oh, this is Tina. My little friend Tina. She is, of course, from Vault 81, and you do a mission, um, and uh, if you kill her brother, she'll decide. I don't know why I laughed then. I'm sorry. I feel terrible. But yeah, if you if you basically if you get into an argument with her drug addicted brother, you can shoot him, and that will convince her that there's no place for her anymore in Vault 81, and you can convince her to come here, um, Tina specifically works for me here as a um, scrap merchant for the general store so she's making something with her life anyway let's move on <laughs> lol this is the penthouse apartment up at the top seventh level let's see if i can take my armor off here maybe not letting me that's the store that she usually runs um, this level obviously provides a beautiful view of sanctuary which you can see in the distance there uh, that's my other base if you can see it I'm not sure if you can see that very well on the video but that is my other base that's my other five or six level uh, mansion and sanctuary but I think they'll do that in a different video uh, so yeah so this is where I get my head down and get some sleep at night uh, it's always the same on TV I don't know why I watch it uh, we had to do some pirate electricianing here <laughs> to get everything to work I'm not sure what that's plugged into it's just sort of floating in the air but it's getting the TV and the lights working so it's all good um, we've got a little bit of an exit point here as well. If we get in trouble, we can just jump out of the back there. Of course, jumping from the top with your power armor on uh, means that you won't take any damage. So we can go for a bit of a free fall off the top here without worrying about um, killing ourselves. Nice view there out over the rest of the map. 
You can even see in the distance the Brotherhood of Steel blimp. Get a good view here actually of um, quite a lot of the map because where we are there's not very much behind us and the rest of the map is is all out here to the east. Uh, I've got some seats here if you just want to chill and take in the view. Um, also up here as well, I've, as well as the lighting, I've installed a generator, um, a television. I've also got a cooking stove for when I want to do my crafting and make some food. And also a chemistry station, of course. And up here we've got the piece de resistance, the sky bar, cigarette machine, um, barman. Hi. Uh, yeah, so why not? Let's see what you got. Let me know what you'd like. Wow, he's selling a lot of crazy stuff considering he's a barman. Uh, have a bottle of beer. Whiskey chaser. This is nice. So as you can see here, we've got our little a little view again here we can chill out and listen to the radio and uh, also over here we've got a little platform for uh, extreme power armor skydivers if you want to try a little bit of uh, excitement and bungee jump off here without a bungee rope just wearing your power armor um, so this is the highest a level up you can build. I believe it's seven levels from the actual uh, the actual staircase from the roof of the building that's downstairs. So in reality, it's probably more like 12, 10, 12, maybe even 15 um, levels high. The actual structure, the apartment built at the very top, I think would be um, you can't you basically cannot build past this point. If I try and bring up the build menu, menu it it won't allow me. And kicks me out if I try and build anything up here. It's kind of crazy. Here, I'll see if I can show it. Yeah, there we go. So, build menu. Um, let's try and build something up here. No, kicks me out straight away. Um, so, yeah, so this is a roof. We've got another launch off point here. God, it looks so far down, doesn't it? Now, look at that. Oops. Nearly. Okay, so that's Red Rocket. My penthouse apartment and bar. Um, maybe try a jump off the top here just for fun now. Yeah. We're down to like our last minute of the video, so we'll, I think we'll finish on that. But thank you very much for watching watching uh, Fallout 4 Cribs. I hope you enjoyed the view. Uh, if you can build something like this yourself, you know, please link me to your video. I don't, I'm not on PC, I just play on PlayStation, so I don't have any mods. I had to buy or collect all of this gear myself, and um, I actually had to break the build limit twice using a glitch, I know. Um, in order to get it up this high with all the pieces I needed so good time <laughs> thank you very much for watching uh, my name is Dive Nick aka David EB and thank you for watching see you again soon don't forget like subscribe and comment <laughs>